Hello everybody. Uh, this is Divine Empress 71. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, happy Saturday. If you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. Um, and if you are returning, welcome back. So I hope everybody's having a pretty good uh, pretty good start to the you know to your weekend so far. Well, um, so what I have on the table is I have constantly thinking of you. I know you're done with me, but I'm still holding on to you. And the energy that we have out here will be uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Two of Pentacles, um, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, water, energy, uh, Five of Cups. So, somebody that you once loved or had a, had a connection with, were juggling. But they, but you must have walked away or they walked away from you because they grieving over a loss of, of you. A lot, you know, a breakup. There's sadness here because it says clearly, I know you're done with me, but I'm still holding on to you. So, yeah, uh, one way that they're holding on is because they are still thinking of you. Now, this could have been a while, a couple of years uh, for some of you. Then for some others, it could have been recent. This could have been a recent breakup. But this person is holding on to, uh, to, your, uh, to the memory of you. Um, they are... Um, you know, thinking about what once was, and they also in grief about what could have been. If they haven't, this person sabotaged the connection um, through uh, exploring other options and trying to juggle you in the midst of all of that. All right, so let's see what I what other intuitive messages uh, comes out here. All right, what else did it? Yeah. Multiple options. Yeah. So, like I said, they were juggling. They were... Um, for, you know, for some of you, they were practic practically uh, stringing some of you alone. But because they are uh, in this grief... They have received some karma behind what they've done. Yeah. They received some karma behind what they've done. Mm. They reaping some things as well. One of their um one of the things that they are reaping or have is whoever they dealt with, one of they one of those other options gave them uh S T D, a sexually transmitted disease. And for some of them, uh, they may have caught something that they cannot get rid of as well. I'm hearing that as well. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. All right, let's see what else comes out. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's not the same without you. Uh, see... They they went off somewhere else, explored another option or options, and got over there, caught this STD, and and got played. Yeah, the player got played. Now they feel like a fool. Mm-hmm. Because see, here's the thing. Whatever it was. Uh that they were looking for in in this other option, they already had it with you. All they had to do, do was, instead of going over there, trying to water somebody else's grass, they should have been watering their own. See? Heavy regret, grief. Mm. You could have been dealing with somebody who was weak-minded. 
very uh, very easy uh, to be swayed by others. Uh, they um, uh, they how can I say it? They cared about the opinion of of, of others. Uh, I know they did with the connection that they had with you and with themselves, you know, uh, in particular, too. Yeah, this is a weak-minded person. Uh, could be very lustful, too. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't know what um, catching you off, catching you off guard. Uh, this catching you off guard could mean that um, for some of you, you probably didn't see this coming with this person. For some of you, you might have didn't think, you may have thought that this person wouldn't have did this to you, betrayed you that way. But they did. And then also, catching you off guard could also mean that they may want to return. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, because, and then again, I don't know, because, you know, for some of y'all, this person don't like to be taught a lesson. For some of you, you may have taught this person a lesson that uh, they they messed her over, or they effed over the wrong one, which was you, Collective. They messed over the wrong one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm hearing for some of you, this person probably didn't think you would be going anywhere after they did this to you. They thought that you would be back by now. But some of you like, hell no. Hell to the no, no. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Let's see what else comes out here. What else comes out? What else, spirit? Mm. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah. See, so whoever this karmic was that they juggled you with, they want to be like you. Obviously, this whoever this karmic is, uh, collective, they know who you are. They know who you are. And they probably know that this person, uh, or they done found out that uh, this person is still stuck on you. Yeah, they still stuck on you. But you don't have nothing to worry about. Because you are divinely protected. Whatever whatever weapon that will be formed against you shall not prosper. Collective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of you and some of you are not even messed up about it. <laughs> I wouldn't be either. Yeah. See, I told you. Look, not over you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this and whoever the karmic was that they was dealing with, they know that. Or they knew. Mm. And uh see, this goes back to this person being weak minded. My friends told me not to invest in you. They friends, they family, whoever. But somebody told this person, somebody close to them, and it probably somebody that knew you as well. Told this person not to not told this person not to invest in you. Yeah. So they went off and uh invested in into a karmic instead. <laughs> I'm hearing that that karmic was more on their level anyway than you was. Most of you uh, uh operated more on a high vibe. This person, mm -mm, not so much for some of you. Yeah. See. And, and now for some of them, because of that, they could have fallen out with friends and family. You know, uh, once they realize, uh, you know, the truth, the motivation, <clears throat> the motivation why their family and friends wanted them not to invest in you. The reason that was because they knew that you would, that you would be a blessing to this person. If this person had a truly invested some of you, I'm hearing power couple. Some of you would have been powerful together. I mean, I'm talking about making big moves. Making, you know, um, doing some big things together. But, uh, and 
these these karmic family and friends saw that saw what the that you would have been a blessing to this person and that's why they let uh, help this person sabotage what they had with you they told this person keep your options open keep your options open you know uh don't you know don't try to get all you know don't put your all your eggs in one basket dealing with collective you know um because you might be wasting your time you know knowing that you were the best thing that came along for this person since sliced bread and and this person knew that they knew this but they were weak minded easy to to be swayed and listen to other people especially if it was other people that they gotten close to or been knowing for a while mm. Mm -mm -mm. let's see what else and then he and then they say they were sneaky just like me this the karmic that they uh went off with they were sneaky just like them. That's that's why that's how they got that STD because uh, what they did to you, the karmic did to them. They juggled you with the karmic, and the karmic juggled them with somebody else. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy! And that's why they somewhere. Depressed in their fields. Mm. Then we have Earth sign has come back out again. So that means that we got some heavy earth here. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Uh huh. Where we at? Okay. Invested in the karmic and got nothing in return. The only thing they got from the karmic was, it, was an STD. Mm, mm, mm. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah, well, that's what you get. That's what you get for trying to hurt good people. Somebody that, that was good to you. Then you want to go off and uh, I guess it wasn't enough. The, uh, the, the uh, collective wasn't enough for you. So you had to go off and wade in somebody else's pond and got bit by a shark. But you said, some of you, no more chances. You're not even going for it because you got fed up. You got fed up and let it go. Mm -hmm. This person is also in their head too, uh, collective. They want to know how much do you know about them? Uh, how much do you know about the betrayal? Some of you know quite a bit. Obviously, you knew enough. You knew enough to walk away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I told you. Yeah, this person. Lord Jesus. Yeah, this person got tricked. They got tricked. And you could have been dealing with a fire sign. A Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Or you may be that sign. Uh, now... Uh, being in this spirit of depression and grief and loss, they now they realize you you were enough all along. Mm -hmm. And uh, realizing that they should have invested in you. Yeah. But see, um, some of them are in their feelings because you have healed and you are no longer uh, focusing on the hurt anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Focusing on your money, money blessings, prosperity. You focusing on other other uh other things in life. Um yeah, because see, um because and when you stop focusing on the hurt collective, you were you were able you were able to move on. And this and that's why I was saying earlier, this person thought that you was gonna be back. For some of them, they thought that you was going to be stuck, you know, but now they realize they can't believe you moved on. 
Mm-hmm. You might have been dealing with somebody who came from a toxic family, um, a raised in a toxic dynamic because they wasn't this person wasn't wasn't raised right. And see, I told you, they don't like the fact that you healed. It bothers me now that you have healed. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, since you've been gone, life ain't been the same. It's not the same without you, collector. No, it's not the same. The love that you gave, they ain't getting it from that karmic. Or they didn't get it. They want it, so for some of them, they wanted the karmic to be you. Mm. Yeah, but mm -mm. they was trying to, um, um, you know, like, if if they told the karmic uh, to cook, to cook a particular dish that you used to cook for them. Let's just say uh, it's a meatloaf. Uh, then they'll say, they'll taste it, right? Then they'll say, mm. Collective didn't, collective didn't make meatloaf like this. Collective made it like that. Constantly making that karmic, uh, Compa you know, comparing this karmic to you, and this karmic don't even know you. Don't know nothing about you. But, through all of that, and some other things, other signs, that this person was showing this karmic, this karmic realized that this person was still stuck on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they were still holding on to you. And then here, uh, like I said, this person, you know, uh, came from, a, what did I say? They came from a uh, toxic uh, kind of upbringing. Yeah, they wasn't raised right. Yeah, they wasn't raised right. Well, they also experienced childhood poverty, too. Yeah, they, um, they could have experienced some childhood Poverty, I'm also hearing uh, childhood trauma, too. And um, this is somebody who um, they may use sex as a form of manipulation. Um, sometimes as a form of uh, binding people to them. This person planning to get you back through sex for some of you. Um, if they, if they try to come back your way, this is one of the tactics that they're going to use. Yeah. But it still don't change the fact, though, that they feel like a fool because they rejected the best offer they ever got. And they ever will get. Because what they did was they physically chose them, but emotionally... They still stuck on you. Yeah. Losing money was my karma. Because see, what they did was they went over there and they invested in that karmic. Well, and then this, this karmic, uh, was toxic just like them. This this karmic was all about what they had, what this person could give, what this person could do for them. They ended up investing what they did not do for you, collective. They did it for this karmic. If they wasn't spending money on you or taking you out on dates or doing nice things for you, they did it for the for the karmic. They are, and I'm hearing that they did it to try to make you jealous after you, after you moved on to uh, make you uh, make you feel bad for leaving. I don't think so. And it still don't change the fact that they having some sleepless nights either. And some of, and for some of you, they are afraid to come towards you um, 
you know, because they are afraid of what you're going to say. They don't know. They, uh -uh. and when they do come back, for some of you, the karmic has bled them dry, some of them, of their income, of their uh, financial resources. And so when if they do come back, they they coming back as a page, coming back with nothing to offer, very little. See, I told you, here we go. Invested in the karmic instead of you. Huh, come come on, spirit. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, spirit, once again. The karmic is my match. Wow. And they still can't get on your level. <laughs> oh my God, Lord Jesus. And so, another part of their karma, watching you get justice. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of you, a lot of you have leveled up. <laughs> and, and what really bothers this person, that now that you done healed and leveled up and all this good stuff, a lot of you are unbothered. You really don't give a rat's ass. Uh... What this person got going on, who they with, whatever, whatever, whatever. Lord Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. And for some of you, they watching you like crazy. Mm hmm Yeah. And see, they they sitting over there wherever they at with this idle mind. Idle mind, devil's playground. An idle mind is a devil's playground. They <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they 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 over uh, they over there stuck in their head, stuck in this depression and this grief, and the devil is putting all kinds of shit in their mind. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, and see, they don't like the fact that you were smart enough to uh, pick up on that third party ever. You know, what I'm saying evidence. You you found out about it. You know, some of you even found out. Who they were juggling you with. And that's why. Access is denied. For coming back towards you. Some of you like I said. Because you were unbothered. And for some of you. You got this person blocked. Material things. Make this person feel like they somebody. They feel. Um, uh, this is somebody who. Because they came from poverty, uh, they didn't come from much uh, growing up. Um, they, this is how they uh, keep, you know, they build themselves up, their self-esteem, um, how they appear out, you know, in the uh, as far as the outer surface is concerned. They, this is how they measure their own self-worth by what they have. They also do this with others as well. They measure other people's worth by what they have also. Yeah. And see, uh-huh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For some of you, this person went off with this karmic or chose this other option because this this karmic or this option could have been doing a little bit better than you than some of you financially. This person thought that that this this option had more than you, or they were doing better, or at least they painted the picture uh, that they were doing better than you. They had more to offer. Maybe they had a nicer house. Maybe they had a they drove a nicer ride. Uh, Cause see, this person judges. Uh, they go by how how shit look, see, on the outside, you know. Um, so they could have chose this person based on all this old superficial fake stuff. They they could have done that, but then, but when they got over there, got over there, and found out that the karmic wasn't what they thought they were, didn't have what they thought they had. You 
rose up like the phoenix, rose up from the ashes, pulled yourself up, uh, 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 slowly but surely you healed, you know, um, and you just put that hurt in the trash can and, and threw it out and you moved on and, uh, your blessings came in. You, you know, a lot of you guys started making money moves, big moves. You're doing well. This person didn't think that you would come up like you did. Because some of you may not, where you at right now, financially, material uh, uh, speaking, you didn't have that, some of you, when you were dealing with this person. You came up after you got this person out your life. Because this person wouldn't have been, would have been nothing but a blockage anyway. God held on to your blessings until this person moved on. Because you could have been dealing with an a opportunist for some of you. You know, uh, they wanted to ride the coattails of your blessings. Cash in on what you got or what God is was about to bless you with. See, God was getting ready to take you places. Your blessings was getting ready to unfold. And where God was taking you, this person could not come with you. That's why you was hidden in plain sight uh, from this person. You were hidden in plain sight. You know, um, uh, a diamond in the rough, so to speak. And this person did not take the time to pick, you know, to pick you up. And polish you off. And because if they did, they'd have saw just how valuable you was. But they failed to do that. They couldn't do that because they was too busy trying to uh, see what was uh, better, um, what other options was out there. Was there something better, um, you know, than you? Trying to see if there was some greener pasture somewhere else. But got over there and found out that wasn't that wasn't the case. Yeah. See, they they want to apologize, but they feel like it's too late. Well, it, it is for some of them, because like I said, some of you have truly healed. You done moved on. You are unbothered. You just don't give a shit no more. You took that hurt and balled it up and threw it in the, and flushed it down the toilet. It's nothing to you now. You know. Um, some of you, some of you would hear this person out, but at the, but because you are so strong emotionally, some of you, and healed, you're going to send this person away with love. I wish you well, God bless you, but I've moved on. This is not where I am now. That's what some of you will say to this person, you know, and then some of you are in you know, new relationships, new connections. And you all right. But then for those of you who are not, you are all right with self. You just doing you. You know? Um, yeah, see, I told you. I knew it was coming out. Wanting to come back towards you. Mm-hmm. Yep, wanting to come back towards you. This person... Uses love spells, you know, through their, you know, uh, they try to manifest you through thoughts. Um, still holding on to your energy, too. And like I said, this is somebody who is sexual. They may use sex as a, um, as a, you know, as a, as a weapon. Uh, as a form of, of uh, manipulation and control to bind you to them or to bind whoever they are dealing with to them. Yeah, because some of you are happy and single and that person and this person don't like that. I don't like it that you're single. Yeah, because what they're because with this five of cups being over here, one of their biggest regrets and the biggest piece of that karma pie is going to be uh, you giving all your goodness to somebody else. And this, and this somebody else that you 
uh, may meet or have met that uh, that you are giving all your goodness to, that you the same thing, the same energy you gave to them, you giving it to this person, this person just might appreciate what they're getting. They just might appreciate what they're getting from you and do right by you. That's what this person don't want to see. And then they found out that the karmic that they were dealing with was hiding shit from them. They was, yeah. The, and one of the things that they was hiding from this person was they was juggling them uh, with somebody else the same way they juggled you with them. What a bitch. Excuse my French. But oh, well. Yeah, see? Losing you was my karma. And it was. Yeah. Catching that STD. Losing you. Um... Getting over there and finding out that that karmic wasn't about nothing. They wasn't shit. So, yeah. Karma, karma, karma. Sitting over there feeling like a fool. Why they in this five of cups? Feeling like a fool. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Because, see, they realized that you were the better option. You were, but, but, but you know what though? It's so sad though, collective, that they had to go off to be with somebody else. They had to go and juggle you and weigh their options and listening to other folks and, you know, all these karmic, karmic -y ass friends and family and whatever they dealing with to realize they knew you were the better option the whole time. And that's why they sitting over there having money problems, going through it, going through it. Mm -mm -mm. And now uh, for some of you, children may have affected this connection. For some of you, some of you may have children by this person. Or maybe when you came into the connection with this person, both of you may have already had children. Um, some of you uh, came into the connection where you both had grown children. You know, um, so... You know, just let it resonate or let it fit where it fits for you. And and because you are doing well, you are unbothered, you moved on, you are all right. This person is low-key hating on you as well. Uh, because uh they didn't they they didn't expect uh for you to be where you where, to be where you are right now. They they was they thought that they was gonna leave you uh, busted and disgusted when they chose that that this that karmic or that other option over you that's what they thought mm, mm, mm. they going through it now <laughs> yeah they mm. the jokes is the the joke is on them mm. the joke is on them wow funny though how the tables turn so let's get a let's get a message from spirit and see what what spirit has to say. Let's see. It says here. Let your feelings out. All of them, even the ones that scare you. Wow. Don't hold back your feelings, collective. Yeah, it's always good to talk about it anyway. You know, some at least, you know, talk about it with somebody that you trust. Somebody that, that will listen to you. Somebody that will give you sound-minded, wise advice. Yeah. But some of you let your feelings out when you cut this person off. You just told this person about themselves. And uh, you know, and that you was you you were no longer gonna tolerate it, and so and you and you closed the door on it. But um, but yeah, but spirit is saying don't bottle anything up on the inside for too long, because sometimes when we do that, bottle up those feelings, those hurt feelings, and things like that, that just gonna make our spirit become bitter. We become, we become bitter, we become 
resentful, we become mean, you know, to others that we shouldn't be mean to. Yeah, so even even the feelings that scare you or that makes you uncomfortable, they even talk about spirit is saying, let 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 those out as well. Let it all out. Get it off your chest and talk about it. I know that it does kind of give you a like there's a load or a bit of a burden that lifts off of, of you. I know for me it do when I can talk about things that's, you know, that's on my heart that I need to express. So, yeah. But but that's all I have for this reading collective. Uh, I, I pray that the reading was a blessing to you. I pray that, um, you know, I pray that, um, what you know, that whatever you got from it, you know, you got from it. And so, um, and I thank you for the comments and the likes, the shares, the, the uh, subscribes. I thank you all um, for following my channel. You are truly a blessing. I, and I really, really do appreciate you. I really do. And God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.